she is big you guys check that out this girl she can be pretty bolty oh Okay, you know what? Screw all the defensive and aggressive tarantulas. I cannot wait to rehouse my GBB, guys. Because this tarantula over here... Oh, man, this is... It's not really heavy. I'm just being a little bit dramatic. But, yeah, as I was mentioning, this guy, I mean, this girl, she webs up a lot. And she is big. She is big, you guys. Check that out. And she is a very, 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 very heavy webber. So, what we're going to be doing is I want to get her into one of those custom enclosures so that she can web up the entire enclosure and it'll look pretty darn sick so yeah i want to get her yeah i promise you guys i promise i will do a more defensive tarantula in the next video because i mean i already said that for so many videos but i, I promise you guys okay just bear with me okay just bear with me this will be the last new world that i'll be rehousing no no, no i mean not the last new world the last new world before i'll be like moving on back to the crazy old worlds okay because i really want this girl to start webbing up those nice enclosures all right guys so <laughs> bear with me let Let's get this girl into a new enclosure. And for that girl, we will be, I mean, I plan to get her rehouse into this one over here, this tank, because there's a lot of places where she can anchor her web. So yeah, let me just bring this tank down here and then I'll do a quick tour on what is set up for that girl over there. Yep, heavy tank is heavy. All right, I've got the tank down on the floor. I mean, kind of obvious, but let's just get this girl. I mean, like, let's go, all right? <laughs> Sorry. A little bit excited because I really cannot wait for this girl to web that as much as over here because that would be sick. That would be like, yo, okay, no questions. But yeah, anyways, let's just give you a quick tour as to what we have installed for her, okay? We on, we good, let's go. Okay, so in this enclosure, we have got everyone's favorite substrate. <laughs> We've got the coconut fiber mixed with river sand, mixed with soil, mixed with burnt soil, mixed with all this charcoal and all the good stuff that would hopefully prevent mold. I mean, this girl, usually her enclosure, as you can see, it's not moldy because GBBs, they like their enclosure dry. They like it bone dry. So yeah, we'll put her in here. Anyways, let's see. Over here, we have got some like artificial turf, like carpet grass kind of thingy over here. Sorry, it's not focusing. It's like focusing on this leaf. Phone issues. Yeah. Yes, guys, for those who don't know, I'm filming with my iPhone 7. Yes, I've gotten this far into YouTube with iPhone 7. I mean, in the beginning, I was using my iPhone 5S, but yeah, iPhone 7, okay, guys? I know a lot of people who want to start YouTube and they're like, ah, I don't have equipment, I don't have this, I don't have that. Dude, get your freaking phone. Okay, fine, I, I don't want to cuss over here. Get your phone, like, like iPhone 7, and just start recording because this, okay, wait, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove to you that I'm using my iPhone 7. If you guys don't want to like, I don't know, like believe me or anything. Okay, I've got my other phone over here. Let me just hit record. Guys, I'm filming with my iPhone 7. Look at this. This is no joke. I mean, why would I even lie about this? I don't know. People seem to be really amazed that I'm just using my iPhone 7. And oh yeah, a lot of people actually said, like, like told me, So, you've got over a million subscribers. We should get better equipment. I'm like, mm, why, why? Why? I mean, this is fine. I'm doing this for fun. YouTube is fun for me. It's not like anything serious or anything. That is why you see my, my videos are always cringy. They're always shaky. They're always like not professionally done because I'm doing this for fun. Yeah, I mean, I have my pets and I decide to film them and my phone's the only thing that I've got. I may buy a GoPro for like Beyond the Lair so we can do those fishing stuff. But yeah, anyways, enough rambling. Let's just get this tarantula into this enclosure. Oh, I haven't even done the tour. Um, This is like, they call these mother-in-law's tongue, I think. Yeah, these plants over here. We have them outside my house, but yeah, we've got sticks. And the thing I like about this enclosure is the way it goes down. Like usually enclosures, they're like pretty flat, right? Like look at this, my P. Lugardi, no, T. P. Marina's tan color form. You see the enclosure is pretty much just flat ground with like stuff sticking out. But this has like, I don't know, it's like a surface, like a valley kind of thing. There's like little stones down there. You can see like it goes down. It's pretty darn cool. And then there's like a stick over here, which, oh, what's that? Is that like, uh, nah, it's nothing. It allows the thing 
thing to go down and it also holds the soil in position. Of course, we've got some fake plants down there to give her more places to anchor her web. So yeah, that is awesome. Let's get her in right now because I cannot wait. Oh, all right. Now, before we do this, as always, and just like the Arizona blonde, I want to weigh her because why not? I'm curious as to how heavy my GBB weighs because I'm not going to be weighing her after I rehouse her, obviously. So since we're going to be rehousing her right now, why not just weigh her, right? Oh yeah, this was, how much was it? 15 grams. Yep, now it's 15 grams. Previous video is like 14 grams. Whatever. This girl, she can be pretty bolty. Oh, come on girl. You good? You good? GBBs don't really kick hairs, I think. So that's good. But they can be pretty bolty. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. You're already starting to be bolty. Calm down, girl. Calm down. Yo. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. I know, I know, I know. You're gonna get a better enclosure. You're gonna get a better enclosure, okay? You chill? You chill? You chill? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. You go into the container. Into the container? Get in. Get in. You know what? Okay, good, good, good. Stay in. No, 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 no. You stay in. Come on, girl. What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Like, seriously. <laughs> Okay, fine, you wanna go out? Yeah, okay, fine. But if you wanna go out, you gotta go out slowly because I don't want you to fall. Yes, girl. Okay, Um, be careful, be careful. I want you to walk on this. Can you like walk on that? Because that'll be much better, I think. She's big. Oh man, you're going back into your enclosure? No, you're not. Oh, she just kicked hairs. I just mentioned GBBs don't really kick hairs, but there she goes. Come on, girl. Do you want to like, <sighs> what's happening? Okay, fine, go in. Oh, no, 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 I don't want you to fall, so you gotta be careful. Be careful. Yo, stop kicking hairs, man. I mentioned GBBs don't really kick hairs, but I mean, since she's kicking, I guess she is not happy at all. I mean, kind of obvious, but yeah. Doesn't want to leave this enclosure. You know what, guys? Let me just, this is going to be really difficult, so let me just get her into her enclosure, and then I'll resume the video. See, I'm not a professional in one hand, guys. I'm not, at least not yet, so yeah. All right, got her in. Now let's just weigh her. Quick weigh, and she is, yo, she's 35 grams. She's even heavier than my Arizona blonde. What the hell? Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, my toe It's kind of, I don't like feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like feet, you guys. I don't know. I don't know why, but I just don't like feet. But yeah, anyways, I don't even know why I'm saying that. It's so weird. It's so random. Let's just get her in because why not, right? Cannot wait till she webs up this whole enclosure. There will be an update video though. Just don't worry. Ugh, sorry. Ugh. There we go. One hand, guys. One hand. Get into your new enclosure. Oh, man. Yep, I will not mess with this girl anymore because she's definitely not happy. If a GBB kicks hairs at you, man, you know that you are doing something wrong. So, yeah, I mean, I was kind of disturbing her. Because once they have already built like super heavy web, like, like check that out. It's not even like making a hole. That means that they have established themselves into their enclosures and they don't want to leave. They will not leave. So, yeah, she is, I mean, hopefully, I mean, she pretty much will establish herself in this enclosure. Come on girl, you need to get off the, uh, what you call this, the lid, because I want it back. Look at how beautiful she is. Yo, that, oh, okay, yo, okay, bye. Yo, you, you put that down, you put that down, girl. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, she has already gone down her little valley, so that's awesome. Yeah, guys, like I mentioned, there will be an old world rehouse after this one, so don't worry about that. Hopefully that goes well, I mean, for me at least. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure you like this video. I mean, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like this video. If you didn't like it, make sure you, I mean, don't make sure, I mean, like, you, you're free to thumbs it down. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit notification bells, and I guess that is pretty much it, yeah, for this rehouse. Yeah, let's see what tarantula we shall rehouse next. Probably my Serato Jaris Marshali, which is like over here. You can see she has made her web, like, covering the uh, view. She likes to do that for some reason, so I hope when I rehouse her into one of these she doesn't like web up this place i mean if she does i'll just wipe it off because yeah she can web inside but please do not like web on the on the walls because <sighs> i just no i want to see the tarantula so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care peace Hmm, forgot the water dish. But yeah, I don't want to film me going to that cabinet and getting the water dish for every single video. So yeah, um, you guys know, I'll put the water dish at the side just like something like this. So yeah, 
See ya. So it has been quite a while since we rehoused my GBB into this enclosure. I'm not exactly sure how long, I kind of forgot. Maybe like two weeks, yeah, around there. I just didn't upload the video. But then, yeah, just check her out. I did tell you guys that I'm gonna be showing you the update of her enclosure and check that out. Just as I expected, she webbed her valley down there, which is, yo, check that out, you guys. That is sick. And this, this right here is what I was mentioning earlier that I couldn't wait till she webs up everything thing like like this I mean she hasn't webbed up everything yet we'll just give her some time because she will eventually web up everything this is just after two weeks and looking good so far so yeah let's give her a small turkey stand roach and see how she does okay so I just tossed in a pumpkin for my turkey stand roaches so we're gonna get the ones that are eating pumpkin because those are of course full of gut load full of nutrition so let's choose this one look at this one this one is like digging into the pumpkin so I'm pretty sure this one is full of guts no you're not going anywhere, you're coming with me. Alright, let's see what this girl does, okay? One, two, Oh man, yeah, that's awesome guys. That is sick. So yeah guys, that's just a quick update just to show you guys what she did to her enclosure after two weeks. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.